Uh, right, welcome uh, back everyone. And um, yeah, we are back for match four and uh, we've seen some very entertaining games. I think two end games, very interesting stuff. And our last match, Craig uh, beat Daniel in this position that you see here. And G5 was the last move on the board. Uh, Black winning a piece. He was already up uh, an exchange, a dragon bishop for a rook. And that just put the nail in the coffin over there. So uh, Craig has gone off to a flyer with two wins against Daniel. And the previous encounter between uh, Henry and Watu was a draw. So they're going to play their second uh, match right now. We've got our co-commentator. We uh, still ha we're happy to still have uh, I am Gluckman with us. And um, uh, welcome back to... Uh, uh, I am Steel and I am Kobese. So, um, yeah, let's generate the position. Or let's just reset the clock. It's 15 minutes aside with a f uh, 15 uh, second increment. Let's re-pack the board. And uh, I'm going to regenerate. Or, or, or tell me something. It seems sometimes it changes the position, sometimes it doesn't. You guys haven't played or seen this before, obviously. Uh, so I think this is fine. I'm not going to press again. So uh, yeah, you didn't, just to make 100%, you guys didn't play this in the first game you played, eh? No. no. Okay, so we're fine with this position. Uh, yeah, so I think there won't be any issues. We switch over to our other app that we use, so there wouldn't be any issues. But uh, if there's any issues, just raise your hand. Um, yeah, so good yeah. luck. Good luck, guys. And uh, Henry, you can start... Uh, playing as soon as you are ready and just mute uh, yourselves guys yeah 15 15 plus increments yeah it's 15 minutes with a 15 second increment so interesting position here david the two dragon bishops taking the the, uh, the traditional role of squares of the knights on b1 and g1 the knights yeah. are patrolling around the king and the queen is on c1 Seems like you could get a bit of a bit more normal position from this. Just the question is how to get out that G1 dragon bishop to castle normally, perhaps F3. Yeah, I've seen this like Henry just likes to, he goes with my strategy of just take space in the center and yeah. uh, don't take too much time and uh, see how things work out later i doubt he's thought about it too much what he's going to do yeah no i would tend to agree with you guys on that one as well i like that um and i think yeah. with with this with this situation though with a knight on f1 and a knight on d1 uh one of those knights should end up on e3 and in these type of positions we get it in fisher random as well where the knight is on e3 it's it's quite flexible it can go to d5 you can go to f5 so black one must cater for this either by playing when you play e5 you go c6 and g6 or in this case Watu has, has responded with c5 so he's probably going to put his pawn on e6 yeah i must say i'm never sure about whether like on the knight on d1 do you want to move it to c3 or do you want to move it to e3 yeah. e3 also has the disadvantage of getting in the way of of your queen developing and you know it can get in the way of, yeah. of so i'm never too sure of whether it's better to put it on e3 or c3 and equally well e3 and g3 yeah uh, but if i had to choose i would probably put the f1 knot on on e3, e3 and yeah. the other knot on c3 rather than e3 and g3 i'm guessing yeah so it may have taste maybe Perhaps, yes. And of course, the knight on g3 can uh, tempt your opponent to play something like h5. We've, we've seen these ideas uh, in the previous game, but yeah, it's all very early to say what's best. Okay, and um, yeah, so e4 and then c5, and Henry has now opted to play pawn to g3. So is he planning on perhaps playing the dragon to f3? Is that his idea of development for the dragon bishop? Or why does he play g3? Yeah. I think he's also just closing the diagonal for the dragon on b8 a little yes. bit. But I'm not so sure it's a good move because I have this feeling it's better in, in, in this chest to make sure your king is safe with pawns around it. So he's already made a weakness. Potentially, yes, if he castles king side. Um, what responds uh, 
of the normal the, the crossing society. queen's heart will be difficult eh, with uh, the queen on c1 yes so so yeah it would be easier to castle short what to respond with knight c6 though and uh, he's setting up a normal sicilian like uh position for now yeah and this uh, henry might be thinking on f4 as well i wouldn't be surprised he likes to gain his space like that but uh again fact, i'm not so sure you f4 is on the board f4 is yeah. on the board so okay, yeah well, maybe i'll be proved wrong but but again I'm not convinced you should be opening up squares around your king. Around your king, yeah. But okay, this time he hasn't allowed the uh, dragon to h4 like uh, Daniel did. Of course, it is a different position, but... Yes. But, um, yeah. B6 played by Watu, and now Henry has responded with C3. So, yeah. a lot of board moves by White, D controlling the center. I wonder if he's playing D4 with a big center. Uh, and I wouldn't be surprised, because that is typical of Henry's style. He likes yeah. to... He likes to gain space, but again, I think his issue will be where will he put his king with the dragon tactics that will come later. Yes, I would prefer, I would, if I was white, I would start developing now, maybe play dragon f3, knight e3, knight f2 perhaps, and then c consider castling. So, it does seem like he's got nice space for this type of developing moves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a trade-off. White has got space, but he's, got, he's creating weaknesses, so uh, it's not clear which way it will go. But on the other hand, looking at it from the black side, how does black develop? Seems like he's got less space, yeah. so what to do? I mean, I, I think he may have to put the nut to g6, but uh, roll... Uh, in a e6, you really are getting cramped to if e4 comes d4 comes with d5 and maybe f5 uh born to f6 blade so opening up that dragon bishop um what should uh, black be thinking of here maybe dragon f7 knight to g6 or something perhaps castling black could also consider long castling i guess so many options still left <laughs> yeah, no, I think there, there are a lot, uh, possibly even more options than the previous game. Yeah. Um, um, Bungie was saying dragon f3, c3 followed by dry, uh, yeah, c3 followed by dragon f3, yeah. So, so Henry is playing what Bungie was suggesting in the chat box here. Dragon to f3 has just been played. Uh, I kind of like what Henry has done. I mean, uh, we saw in the previous game the weaknesses of pushing the pawns. Yeah, it seems like uh, more of a protective layer because the black pieces can't find... They're not close to um, getting to the white king. So unless black is going to do something drastic yeah, like it, h5 it or something change, like that. We've seen it can change very quickly. Yes. The... Ooh. And um, just talking about that, uh, Watu has just uh, whipped out h5, David. Yeah. Okay. I mean, typical to both their styles. Yes. I'm still still wondering where this F8 knight is going to go. Uh, maybe he's just going to keep it there. Yeah. <laughs> a defensive piece for now and keep his king on E8, I yeah. guess. Like uh, like as a Sicilian you know, player. You can't castle king side anymore. You can't be thinking that. Yes. So either long castle or you keep your king on E8 like in the night off. Yeah, I think it's probably more keep your king on king eight in this in e eight in this situation probably. Yes. Uh, uh, but I think like if we go back to the previous game, uh, you know, yeah. look, you need to criticize with hindsight, but but the one thing Daniel never got in that game is. Craig's king was never in any trouble, and then practically it becomes difficult to play. So yeah. I, I do like what Watu is playing, even though I, I don't know if it's good this H, H5, but you know, I think his strategy is okay, I'll open the, the, the file, I'll get some squares around that king a little bit more weakened, and who knows what will happen later. At, yeah. at least you can go at least you're chance creating to, play, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if you're just sitting there having to cover up your king's weaknesses and then no weaknesses for your opponent you practically in a very difficult situation yes no i fully agreed over there uh by the way thanks to kenny um 1904 i think for for following welcome to the show kenny and um 
Yeah, uh, just just by the way, if h4 is played, then white can still take on h4 and the pawn is protected. Ah, but no, then f4 will be hanging. Because so Watu wants to open up that dragon on b8 still, yeah. So, so yeah, h4 is definitely on the cards. Uh, Henry has just played uh, knight f1 to e3. I think the knight on d1 is destined for f2 just to cover more squares and cover the king. Yeah, yeah. I, well, I think now he has to do that, but I, I'm not convinced it's a good setup, actually. So what to do for black, though? You you play h4, but then what? Let's say h4, white goes, knight f2. Black must get yeah. some pieces into the game. Okay, yeah, something interesting rocks up. Watu is really uh, mixing it up here. Watu has just played pawn to c4. Okay, that's a, I, I actually like. Uh, he's got some, yeah, the d3 square. Knight e6, knight c5, if he had all the time in the world. There. I think that's, I, I like that idea. Maybe yeah, b5 might come supporting it. Yes. Uh, And no, what's got this problem? How's he going to develop his queen? I, I mean, I guess he, you know, one way is to play d4 and get your queen up, but but then the exchanges and passants, there's just a lot of squares open in front of the king for tactics later on, which is, uh, I think, what he will take this. I don't think he'll allow that yeah. strong center to stay. That's, that's what happened. Uh, takes on d3 and dragon takes d3. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think what he would have thought very long about yeah. that. Uh, but he would want to open open position but but yeah i think it's it, it, it does give what a possibility of tactics later um but okay what has got space and that's what henry likes and henry is very good with with space yes but okay i think uh what also at least chipped away at that big center and he's got a bit more space to work with yeah but, i presume uh, he's gonna go 96 and not c5 now maybe yeah Yep, and uh, Watu has just played a knight to e6. Yeah, because Watu might also think later on uh, of h4. He doesn't just have to take on g3. He might even just play the pawn to h3 at some point in the future. Yeah, just to create some kind of less, you know, discomfort for the king, I guess. But, yes. but maybe, you know, probably keeps it on h5 for now to keep his options. Yes, indeed. And knight f2 played by Henry. So he's covering a lot of squares. Knight c5, probably he'll just drop back. Yeah, you play knight c5 now, I'm sure. Uh, knight c5. You know, maybe Henry later can kick in with b4, but but uh, Still, that's yeah. more weaknesses later on. So I think Watu will be okay with that, I would guess. Yes. So knight c5 on the board. Now the question is, where do you put your dragon bishop? You can go to c2, you go to e2. Dragon to c2 is played. Okay. Dragon to a6 is a suggestion, which is actually not a bad suggestion. I like that ah, suggestion. Yes, like it. Stopping castling, keeping an eye on the d3 square. Yeah, you might have to go dragon to e2 or something, I guess, to counter. I don't know. Uh, uh, maybe queen d2 and then dragon e2. I don't know. But uh, what you're opting for a5 first? He wants to stop b4, maybe. It doesn't yes. really stop b4 anyway, so it does it. Okay, maybe it does. Huh? Just. Uh, uh, it does. It looks a bit more natural to put the dragon bishop on a6 now. I, I think the, I prefer the dragon on a6. Immediately. Uh, what can play b4 anyway if he wants to. Yeah. So I'm not sure about that one. But okay, queen d2 is on the board as well. Uh, Mendry giving himself options now. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I don't think white really wants a long castle because a2 will be hanging immediately with that dragon yeah. bishop on g8. But the other reason I just don't like that a5 is... You know, now he's always got to worry about the b6 
yes. weakness. Uh, and, there, you know, there will be options later on to go into normal end games and that type of thing. With, and that, that could be a problem. Yes. Uh, uh, H4 is on the board. So what do is it playing on both sides? Giving Henry something to think about. Why right, can actually like Queenside Castle now? He's actually rearranged himself. Oh, he's got to watch A2. A2, yeah. That's the only problem. Okay. But can he? I guess he can just take on A2. Eh? Yeah, he'll be able to. Yeah. That is annoying. And it just shows like the move F6. I mean, it's just. So those are natural type of moves, also in Fisher Random, when it's a normal bishop, just to create uh, a long diagonal and you never know where, what threats later on it will lead to. Yeah, that uh, bishop on, that dragon bishop on G2 has been quite useful, not only stopping long casting, but also supporting that C4 push by Watu. So yeah, it's been very, he's been using that diagonal quite nicely. And the big yeah. question, of course, now for Henry, what to do? Uh, castling immediately seems a bit risky. Um, yeah, I don't think you can. You can't really take because f4 is hanging. Oh, uh, yeah, it's 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 a. You can maybe put the knight to d5 just to close that diagonal, and if it gets kicked with e6, then just go just back and go back. Uh huh. Oh. Uh, closed off. And and by the way, Henry has just castled. I guess he's okay. saying that the knight on f2 is covering h3, so he can go king g2 next, and maybe rook h1. Okay, but now we shouldn't black try something drastic now. Okay, well, Watu will definitely think of G5. He, I'm like, also like, thinking about G5. He, he, there's Just, no doubt that would have been his first thought, yes. probably. I think it might be too much, though, because his king is also not... I was looking at yeah, that dragon on F3 and the dragon on C2 might start getting happy with that G5, maybe E5 or something, but... Um, yeah, E5 is up. a threat, yeah, actually. I, I, I think Watu might... Um, yeah, I definitely preferred that dragon a6, and but now if the pawn was on a7, you know, what you could be thinking of queenside castling. Yeah, uh, with no great problems actually. Now you can't really think about queenside castling. It's going to, well, its big weaknesses is already got there b4 coming, not d5. Um, uh, so I think he's stuck with his king in the center, he's committed to that. Yeah. But I mean, he, uh, this dragon uh, g6 is a worry, actually. You know, e5, dragon e6, g6. Yeah, but okay, the rook won't be hanging yet. Uh, you're right. I was, that's, that's my common error that I always yeah. make. But I think what I wanted to keep that dragon bishop on b8 on that diagonal still, eyeing the king side. Um, but yeah, I think it's a bit more difficult. We definitely... might just get what might come in with b4 and b5 now and, and really create a big space advantage. Yes, definitely difficult for, for uh, black to play. Yeah, uh, black it's it's on black to now mix the position up to create some complications because why Henry's got so many easy to play moves king g2 like david said b4 b5 you can go king g2 rook h1 to neutralize the h file you can go rook a d1 you can go I'm actually impressed with Henry. Just, he's very uh i mean uh, you know i thought with h4 he's not going to consider awesome. king three. yeah we just but, looked uh, at it very concretely the right, the right decision i definitely think this a5 was a mistake it, it, it's really limited black's options without yeah. any great purpose yeah mm. okay well, what do yeah he would love to get his queen somewhere in the action i guess the question is how could he do that i mean it's not so easy, you know, if, where, where can your queen get to on the king side, on the h file? I mean, the only squares are like h7 and h6, really. 
And how would you get there? It's like almost impossible. Yeah. Um, Bungie said Dragon A6 is uh, still possible. Dragon Bishops are good defenders. Yes, we're seeing the Dragon Bishop on F3 is covering the King nicely. Um, but the problem with Dragon A6 is that it's like a little bit too late. The King has already castled yeah. to the King's side. And there's no way you would want to go Dragon takes F1. So you yeah, will so just ignore that completely. It's not really doing too much, but okay, it would be developing. I don't know. We can Yeah, Black can't even long castle like you said. So it's it's tough for Black. Dragon F7 played. Very tough for the... How about this idea? Yeah. You go King D8, King C7, Queen G8, Queen Ooh. H7. <laughs> Very creative. Slow, but but yeah, yeah, I'm sure B4 will come at some point then. I was even yeah. thinking about E6 and King E7, but then I mean Knight D5 at some point, the rook on E1 and Knight D5 could be... Unless ready. Black just cuts his losses and just castles Kingside, I guess, and gives up on the idea of Kingside attack. Yeah, okay, but then I think King G2, yeah, King G2 played anyway, and Rook H1 would be very dangerous for the King. Yeah. I think it's just safer on E8. Ah, so after King G2, what to now lashes out with G5. the move? G5. 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 Uh, okay. Anji said maybe plan for black is b5 and playing on queen side. Yeah, similar to what you were saying now, David. So yeah, that was an idea. But what to uh keeping his eye on the uh, on the king side, pawn to g5 played. Yeah, look, I think he's got to try to create something, but hmm. The problem also now is that okay. Okay, you can get the e5 square if he takes on g5, I guess. Uh, I think this is the best practical chance for Watu because we, we were starting to find a decent plan. Yes, yes. I think maybe, maybe Henry shouldn't have gone king g2 just yet. Uh, maybe he should have gone for this b4, b5 plan to push back the knights. Knight, yeah. Uh, because then in this position, then he could take on g5 now and not have to worry about knight e5. That's really the worry. It's a fight for the g5 square. Because if the knight on c6 had been pushed back, I don't know if he'd got b5, yeah. where he would have gone to a5 or to d8. Then he could take on g5. He could put the, the maybe the f knight to g4 with very nice play. But the problem yes. now if he takes on g5 is, is the black knight gets the e5 square. And now it's a bit too late to play b4 because Watu can insert the uh, pawn takes f4 yeah. and open up the g5. Too late. Too late. So, so I actually think king g2 was an inaccuracy, actually. Perhaps it uh, was. Yeah. It, it wasn't. Uh... So, Watu, uh, I guess time that while well, well here to his opportunity, basically, to, to play g5. Um, yeah, but B4, I think, would have put put him under big problem. I'm yes. not sure what, I can't think what he would have done because the C5 knight has to go back and then B5 goes and then the, the C6 knight has to go back and then it's enormous space. I think uh, Henry was perhaps just trying that principle, uh, trying to exercise the principle of not pushing too many pawns and creating some weaknesses. Maybe yeah. takes on B4, yeah, takes on B4. Inside passing off the dragon F7 and he'll get ready for Rook H1 himself. Yeah. Um, but uh, Henry taking his time now, he's a minute down on the clock, he's on seven minutes, Watu is just above eight minutes. And uh, yeah, this is what Watu wants. He wants but to... Maybe he must still go for the plan with B4. Maybe he must still go for, the, because if he takes on G, F4, he, can, he can't take back uh, the dragons immediately taken on F4. Okay. But it's not check though. Yeah, but I mean, you don't want to don't want, you don't, Yeah, you don't want the king to be able, maybe yeah, you can yeah. just give up the knight on C5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so this is actually a problem actually, potentially. Okay. Rook to h1 played, and what to immediately responds to rook g8. So I'm assuming after the exchange on h1, then if black captured on f4, then white would play a rook h. No, but you can't play a rook h8 check. The dragon covers the h8. Yeah, but, but I mean, he wouldn't want to exchange the black rook, then white is the h file and an attack. So yeah, so rook g8, g8, good practical choice. Uh, on the clock, they immediately playing Rook G8, keeping the pressure, threatening GF4. I mean, 
you know, Henry might even have to think about something like just F5 to close things up. I don't think he can let that G file get opened. Yeah. Uh, um, and if the knight comes to E5, then the dragon goes back to E2 and then eventually puts one of the knights to G4 um, uh, and exchanges the E5 knights. Yes, so looks like what is going to get something out of this, the E5 screen. But, but, but actually F5, you've got to worry about Queen C7 as well. So it actually okay. looks unpleasant now for white, yes. to be honest to me. Yeah. Uh, um, Boomshaka is suggesting knight to D5, covering the F4 square, but... but um, yeah, I think you can, in the worst case, you can even take on f4 for black and then knight takes f4 and again you have this e5 square knight to e5 perhaps. But uh, not uh, a bad try there, but It's becoming unpleasant, so yeah. Um, I'm trying to wonder, what else can you do? I just don't think you want this g file opened. Uh, it looks too bad, so I think you might have to play f5. Yeah, it looks like... Um... But f5, queen, c7, what happens then? How do you defend? Let's play knight the... f1. Oof, this doesn't look nice. It doesn't look nice at all. Uh... Well, that's why he's taking his time now. I actually yeah. think Henry has uh, gone wrong. What is the time situation? I can't see it. It's uh, so Henry is on four and a half minutes and uh, Watu is on eight and a half minutes. So what is okay, got a four minute? Time pressure is going to come in here as well. That's a yeah. huge advantage. Eh? This, uh, that's a big difference. Look, I, I think he's got to do the F5, not F1. What else can he do? Uh, yeah. Terrible maybe. F5 played and what to immediately goes queen c7. Yeah. He's going to have to go knight f1, surely. You went rook h3 now. Okay. I was just worried that at some stage might allow also like a g4 type of tactic as well. Uh, surely not to e5, yeah. Okay, so now the dragon must, he can't let that get swapped off for a knight, I don't think. So I think he will have to go to e2. Yeah, but okay, what definitely now gets what he wants from this game. Um, yeah, well, he can go dragon to h5, yeah. can he? No, I, maybe I he wanted to do that early on looking at it, but now it's going to give no, us... You can, because maybe... Then, no, because you'll get hit with take on h5, rook takes h5, knight c4, he's g3. Yes, and then dragon h5 is played. Maybe. Is it possible? Okay, maybe the king can escape to f1 there. Perhaps, but uh, tactics are so, possible now. Well, what I do think is where Henry's right is, is practically with his being behind on time, it's a good tactic to, to exchange the dragons if you can, because he will be able to play quicker without dragons on the board. Yes. So he needs to just... Um... Is there some tactic now? That's the worry. Uh, like dragon h5, rook h5, can you move the knight somewhere to create problems? Like, you know, even a crazy move like knight f3, is that a possibility? I don't knight think so. Takes, queen takes king e2 seems to be safe enough. Then you have dragon yeah. f4 check. Dragon f4 check then. King e2, dragon f4 check, and then you pick up the rook on h5. So, yeah. so it takes That's on really... h5, rook takes h5, knight f3, king takes f3, queen takes g3 check, forcing king e2, and dragon f3, dragon bishop to f4 check. Forking the king and the rook, possible. Yeah, um, but I, I think if Watu can get there, he'll be thinking of mates. I mean, yeah. <laughs> the on F4, where does the king go? It can go, it can't go to d3, there's a knight on c5 still. Uh, where can it, I think you'll get mated actually. King d king, king e1? g1. Knight f1. Well, he's got a, the, the queen on d2, he's got to worry about. 
Ooh. I don't think I would take on eight foul. I would go. And the problem is F4, King F1. He's, he's got, uh, he hasn't got dragon to G, queen to G2. Okay, Ex maybe look, okay, you can just take the rook. You, the exchanges right. happen. The exchanges happen on H5. Let's see what Watu's got up his sleeve here. Knight F3 seems to be looking good here. Because it's forcing uh, Bungie also says knight f3. Boomshaka said knight to d5 at some point. Oh, that was earlier on. Um, but um, uh, Knight f3 looks winning, to be honest. Yeah, uh, very cool cool idea with that dragon coming to f4. At least picking up the exchange, but there might be a knight. And see, again, it just shows, again, the dynam dy dynamism of the, the dragon and how... Leaving squares around your king is a very dangerous yeah. thing to do. Yeah. I'll be very surprised if what he doesn't play knight f3. Yeah. Uh, I think he's seen it already. He's just looking for other options. What else can there be? Can we do the same tactic? Otherwise, no, because... Um... Wait, knight of the king. Yeah, king, the knight of the king forces the king forward. That's a nice thing about it. Yes, it forces the king forward, uh, and yeah, look, it forces him. He can't defend g three because the queen is threatened. So this is a big moment. Yeah, what you can um, uh, get a a nice point here. And and just stay stay I mean, close to Craig basically. Okay, so when Dragon comes to F four, he's got to go King D one maybe. Is that a possibility? Look, so but you, you could always queen. take on H five with check, and just an exchange up. But it's actually better. Where, where does the King go when you're on E two? Do you go to D one? So if Queen G one, you've got Queen E one. But the problem is then you just change on exchange on e1 you can do that whoa uh, what to eh? what to has just played knight e to d3 e to d3 and henry has responded immediately with knight to f1 covering g3 is this a mistake by what to well to me it's not the move to have played because you didn't gain the move of threatening the queen yes so you've... I'm very surprised, actually. Maybe, I'm, 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 I'm shocked, in fact. Maybe. Look, the main thing is in this game is that the guys missed the dragon tactics. Perhaps what to miss this dragon f4. Yes, dragon f4. Maybe he missed that I move. So, because, I mean, first, first of all, the moment you see it and you see you can win the exchange before you even start. Yeah, looking it's totally for totally safe to play. Yeah, but exactly. I, I, I think it's much stronger than that. I, I wouldn't take that h5. I'm sure there are other tactics there. So now what has played dragon to c6, so things still look quite heated here. Um, okay, but now the, the pressure is off g3. Can white take on d3? Then he's gonna. Ah, so so knight takes d3 would then fall prey to bishop takes e4 check and taking the queen. Dr Henry now, okay, I know you are a bit delayed on that side, uh, David, but Henry now sacrifices his dragon for the two knights on d3. Interesting choice. And this is his way of now calming the, the storms. And so after Queen takes D3, what to finally long castles. And here we have a battle, guys. We've got two knights versus a dragon bishop. And the dragon bishop does look very strong on the diagonal. But Henry's knights are looking for squares. And knight to E3, that knight's going to go to D5. Yeah, I know. Okay, this is very interesting. I've never very seen this before. So you're playing like two knights versus a dragon. Very, very. But I don't believe it. So I, I think Henry might. I think the knights need squares. If the knight gets uh, knights get some outposts, it's going to be a very nice battle. Um, we saw it actually yeah, in the previous the tournament. Knights defend quite well, so I'm not con uh, I'm not convinced it's worth a piece. Uh, I, I, I can't, in fact, I can't believe it's worth a piece. Um, the two knights. Yeah. Ah. I think this was a practical. I think the Henry should be very happy. Okay, considering knight f3, if uh, but but 
I think yeah, no, uh, he must be very happy with this. So, so yeah. I, I, mean, I, I think it's better for what? I, I find it difficult to believe a dragon is worth two knights. Ah, uh, okay, is that what you mean? I was a bit confused right now. So you think that white is actually better with these two knights? Yes. Aha, uh -huh. I yes. think that the tables have definitely turned. It's very interesting. Um, because well, what is he going to do? I mean, the, the, yeah, that stops d5. He'll put the rook, other rook to h1. Sure. Uh, yeah, the two knights are working beautifully now. No, uh, I'm trying to figure, I mean, did he really think that a dragon is worth more than two knights? Did he do that deliberately? That's, yeah, well, I think in the general idea, error. the general idea was that the dragon is worth about a, a, a rook and a, and a knight. But uh, like I said, it depends on the position. And um, right now, I mean, with the, with the white controlling such squares with the space i think it was a good decision very excellent decision by by henry giving up the dragon over there sometimes we miss this david because i mean it's an exciting variant and you want to keep your dragons on the board and sometimes you forget that one can actually give up the dragon yes no no I mean, look why uh, what can actually just go rook d1 yeah for example uh maybe then queen d6 even okay what is he doing okay so on e6 Okay, black cannot play well, d takes e6 because of the takes queen. He's going to put the knight to d5 maybe yeah. and uh, neutralize that dragon diagonal anyway. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but... To me, this is winning for what? I find yeah, it very difficult. I agree, actually. Well. It's very interesting. We've uh, given the dragon a lot of uh, uh, value, but in this case, it seems like the knights are doing an excellent job here. The one defending, holding everything together, the other one causing problems and again, this b6 weakness is going to come back to haunt what to that we talked about originally made it difficult to castle queenside now we're going to see that is the case okay but now i've got an idea here for you david maybe rook what you should yeah what you should try to give up a rook for one night yeah he's going to try rook takes e4 but he's probably going to play something like c4 yeah and stop the idea uh or rook d1 or but something yeah, rook like takes e4 looks good i think i think uh what do i yeah okay it's white to play sorry it was white to play um so let's see some some chatting in the chat box uh roland says mark lewis ashley Schuler, roland and kenny willenberg all watching on the same big screen great stuff guys welcome we discussing the possibilities in depth great fun welcome to all of them over there um all the Steinitzians, welcome. And uh, Bungie says, nice Roland. Rosemond says, knight to e7. Check is a threat, it seems to me. It's yeah, definitely good fun. Maybe, yeah. Uh, it is a possibility as well. Okay, so um, what you now mixing it up again? He wants that diagonal open. He plays pawn to f5. Henry grabs on f5, so the diagonal is opened up. The knight on d5 is pinned for the moment, but the rook on e6 need, needs to move. Yeah, I know those two knights are impressive. And this is the thing about this uh, variant, guys. It's There's no fixed way yet. There's uh, just exchange sacrifices and dynamics in different situations where the peace values increase or decrease. Yeah. Look, F5, I understand. He wants to open that diagonal at all costs. Yes. But to me, it's drops of desperation, actually. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's just bust. He's going to move his king. Maybe not E7 might come. Maybe queen d4. Oh, he can't go queen d4, sorry. But he can try it the b6 pawn. Okay, black has doubled up on the e file. That's a, f6 is a typical Henry move, eh? <laughs> uh, and I wouldn't say it's a typical move most people would make, but it's like um you know uh doesn't worry about you he doesn't see your clear threat so he will just carry continue pushing his pawns quickly and uh, your position will cave in uh, at some points uh i think most players i might be wrong 
would more be considering how, how, how to just to defend maybe rook d2 or something yeah i agree with you that's a cool calm move by henry um, and once it gets f7 the rooks can be forced off the e-file the... i like it yeah and the knight on d5 now probably if you have to give it a value is at least five points yeah in fact in fact uh um, this is one of the things that occurred to me now uh, it comes back to me when we played that tournament i think a knight is definitely worth more than three because often you have to think about you know, there are opportunities to exchange the, the the knight and dragon for both sides uh and i mean if the dragon is worth more than three that makes the knight more, worth more than three as well because yes uh uh, it's got that possibility of kind of checking the dragon, you could call it. Yes. And this dragon, bishop on c6, hasn't been happy since since it's been uh, yeah. poised against the, the two knights. No. I, I'm actually... I'm really amazed at this. So to me, it's like... Um, it seemed what who overvalued the dragon, uh, that he thought it's good enough to be beat two knights. Yeah, and uh, by the way, Bungie was recommending rook to e3, uh, exposing or using the, the pin of the knight. But okay, the queen could have moved. Um, rook f8 played, keeping an eye on the pawn, and Henry cool and calmly just playing king h2, unpinning the knight on d5. I can start seeing moves like knight to g4 or knight to e4, yeah, yeah, perhaps. Yeah. You know, what we see over here is, I mean... Henry is such a natural player. He, I mean, I think it's from being learning at a very young age. He's just got a natural feel for where to put pieces, actually. Yeah. I think. Uh, I think more than any other player in South Africa, I, I would rate him higher than all of them. He, 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 I think I did ask him uh, on, on the show at some point. Uh, I think it was on How to Be the Grandmaster. He, yeah. Um, I asked him, or someone asked him, what is his strength? And he said that uh, technically, he thinks that his technical side is is his strength. Um, if you give him a, a good position, technically good position, he will make the most out yes. of it. Maybe yes. he fancies yeah, what to or quadri. very good squares. Technically he's, stronger, he's, but yeah. He's also strong. He's very resolute defensively. It's yeah. not so easy to beat him uh, uh, with, with a better position. But... Um, yeah, look, I mean, he's obviously got really, like, I would say, like, openings are his weakness, even in games, possibly to some extent. But, 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 okay. when, when, yeah, like, yeah, now this is an example. Queen to a3, there are very few people who would even consider that move. It wouldn't even be a candidate move. But, uh, Henry is very good at seeing. Now, this is like you're moving the queen sideways with a long diagonal threat and also the possibility f7 coming, coming and f8 it's not just it comes to him naturally this is a uh, the type of move you can play i i don't think it would be for most players yeah no definitely Henry has a uh, something special um from the others um we've seen it a lot in in, in shs yeah. and uh he seems to be doing excellent here now it's just about just double checking this dragon bishop um what of course is not gonna give up without a fight here yeah? and what will find every uh, a little resource um perhaps rook e2 no but the rook is hanging with check on f8 so and, yeah, yeah yeah the rook's hanging uh, and can you go dragon to b4 knight takes b4 and then the rook e2 or is that nothing because your queen is open up on, on the diagonal the knight is pinned for the moment. Rook takes f6 is possible. You, I guess you could play knight a6 check or something. And then... Um, you probably just got rook f1 as well. I guess is another... Yeah, I guess so. Rook f6. Uh, but the rook, rook goes back. The, the e, e rook goes back to e8, protecting f8. I mean, why don't you just go f7 yeah then i don't know ah and uh rosemoon spots the move um that henry plays queen to d6 check king to a7 is played and uh the queen has penetrated now she's uh in the black camp yeah it's not so clear what you do there i guess but uh because even if you exchange queens 
not well in fact you can't say eh? if you exchange if you go queen c7 he goes dragon takes t5 i guess eh? and then you suddenly lost the piece back. yes so just uh, uh, but I presume, surely you just go f7 and continue. That to me would be the natural. Okay, he's got rook e2, he's got to worry about, I guess. Yeah, you should just now watch out for the tricks. Maybe rook here. d2 or something like that. Rook d2, rook h8, is that anything? It is a possibility, but I mean, even if you exchange on h8 and move the king to g1, should be nothing, yeah. What is there really? Henry just played port to f7. Okay, now rook e2. That's what I was worried about there. I'm sure what will play rook e2. Rook e2, king to g1. See, very calm, eh? Sure. Yeah. And then the f8 rook is still hanging. Still hanging, and the, and the pawn's coming to f8, so that's going to be the yeah. end of that one. So, uh, but if you go rook d8 or something, that's also basically just but then designing. You've got an attack, yeah. Yeah. Then the other knight just starts coming in because your rooks can't penetrate. Yeah. So I think this is uh, going to be it, yeah. Um... Now, I'm actually, I'm, I really am curious, did Watu blunder or did he assume a dragon is stronger than, or at least com can compete with two knights? But, but I, I think he evaluated it incorrectly if he did that. Yeah, I think the, the, the key thing in this game is to to really concretely check out the position and the squares and so on. Because yeah. some cases the dragon can be stronger than the two knights. Other cases the two knights can be stronger. In this case, yeah, but yeah, it's as well, like obvious a knight could plonk itself to d5. Yeah. So it closes the diagonal and yes, you, if you move your dragon somewhere else. Yeah. You know, what is the threat? You've, moved, you've got the queen out of the game. Um, the dragon's not going to do something by itself. Yeah. Well, okay. Uh, what what to play the rook to d8? So it's basically sitting now and waiting for Henry. Uh, that knight on f2, I think, should be itching to to join in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't think it's going to be a long wait. I mean, maybe just g4 and e5, for example. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, Henry opting for knight e4 instead. Okay. okay, so g5 is hanging. Maybe knight to c3 and b5 is also possible. Yes, Bungie also saying knight uh, e4, knight c3, knight b5. Yeah, that looks I very dangerous. Not anything wins now because there's just no counterplay. Okay. Dragon to b8. You think the queen? Yeah, yeah. Good move. A good move. Queen f6. Yo, black is almost uh, stuck. Running out of moves. And whoa, 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 the move that springs to mind is going to come is rook h6, yeah. Rook h, oh, ah, yeah. Okay, that's why I want to play d6 just. Okay. Blocking that, but that did look uh, quite cool. Um, and Henry immediately jumping to c3, by the way, with his knight on e4. So knight b5 is in the air. Yeah, it's finished now, but, but but I really think knight of three. We'll have to discuss it afterwards. Yeah, definitely. I, to, I, I think it was winning seems winning. Probably. Seemed winning. Okay, well. King a eight played, so just out to finish now. Uh, Ah, so just to watch out for the dragon tactics. That's uh, about uh, I'll it. I guess you'll put his queen back to d4 or something, yeah. Yeah. Because the dragon now can't get to e5 or c5. Yes. d6 uh, pawn is in the way. So Henry taking his time here, again, he's in a very good position. So he's got a, yeah. a half a minute advantage on the clock. So He does this as well. He, he's, he's quite, um, I would say, calm and collected. He's not, yes. uh, he doesn't get flustered. Actually, I remember in the Olympiad in 2014, uh, we were playing the USA. And that's when he got his famous win against Kamsky. Kamsky, yes. But it was like, 
an amazing game because he had a shocking position, terrible. And he had like 30 seconds, I don't know, 30 seconds left versus an hour. Uh, and he had like maybe 20 moves to go to the time control. And he stayed calm enough to even convert that. There's some beautiful so tactics here, by the way. Like, it's actually amazing, yeah. The, the, what is this? The dragon uh, bishop on b5 couldn't uh, capture the knight on c7 because the pawn on b6. And is that a possibility? Yes, that was possible, but the user's giving up your queen. Another possibility. So, uh, what's happening yeah, here? Henry mm -hmm. gave up his queen for the two rooks, but king takes... Ah, king takes c7, and then pawn takes dragon. Yeah, and I remember the pawn on f7 is also still queening, so Henry finding a beautiful tactical yeah. solution the pawn, here. The pawn on f7 can always get a dragon, you mustn't forget <laughs> that. Yeah, that as well. I actually asked that question last time at the last tournament. I presume so. Uh, yeah, I actually never saw okay, it before. This is, so this is winning. King a7 played. Knight takes b5 check should be over now. Yeah, now you can resign with a clear conscience. Yeah. Oh, beautiful rook a8 check. So queen takes and then knight c7 check. Just wins the last piece. Henry not hesitating with that. Okay, I think the game is done. Let's get the players back on. What a thrilling game, David. Um, yeah. Ups and downs. So I want to just save this game immediately and then we can discuss that critical moment. Players, can you hear us? Uh, yeah. Uh, what can you hear us? Mm, yeah. Okay, so, uh, wow. Uh, crazy game. Uh, beautiful game. Well done, Henry, for a nice finish there as well. And, um, yeah... Uh, tough luck, Watu. Um, we maybe uh, no, we think, should just start I think I should off. Be, I, should, I should be winning this position, but I, I didn't find. Um, yeah, we've got a critical anyway, question. I was thinking of knight c4, but knight takes c4, queen takes g3, king yeah. f1. Yeah, we've got the. Dragon, we actually Dragon had in mind. Three. We actually had in mind that the winning uh, move should be instead of knight d3, knight f3. Because knight f3 hits the mm. queen. Yeah, but knight f3, I, there was a problem I saw. Um, I take it. King takes and then queen takes, takes g3. g3. King e2 and then dra g2. dragon f4, check, and forking the, the rook on h5 as well. Uh, yeah, okay. I saw that, but, but, but wait. See that. Uh, so you're at least picking up an exchange. But I think there's even more than the exchange. I mean, that yeah. king doesn't look too healthy then. No, wait a second. Uh, uh, no, no, wait a second. Knight f3, I saw this. Knight f3, Yeah. king takes, queen g3, check. Mm -hmm. King e2, dragon f4 check, all good. King, uh, remember he's got queen d5. This was the problem. King, um, say king uh, f1 maybe. F1, f1. f1, yeah. And dragon h5, queen d5. Take on h5, queen d5. Queen d5. Uh, it's yeah. g8 and, uh, and it's a8. Ah. This is, I was nope. not sure. This is good. Nope. No, but the, the dragon on h5, okay, he's not covering g8, yeah. Mm. No. Interesting. So, 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 so what I was thinking, uh, position should but be winning. One. But there's, there's lots of, there's lots of, of, of calculations. Uh, ah. That's the problem. Isn't there queen g2 there or not? Is there, have you got something there's, covering that? There's not an e3 still, right? Is there not e3? On e3. Okay. So, 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 so the issue was that here yeah, in this position, knight c4, I, I, I'm convinced it's the winning move, but I couldn't find... Knight c4, knight takes c4 is forced. Queen takes yeah. g3 check. King of one. Okay. Dragon f4. Um, knight, knight e3. We're just going to that position, by the way. Uh, we've already saved the game, so. Yeah, can I see? Can we see it also or not? Let's, almost uh, like transposition though. Then after knight e3, right? Let's, let's go. Looks like transposition to knight f3 almost. No, 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 but knight to three, mm -hmm. but I can take the knight. Okay, so this uh, this moment, yeah, okay, we can't. So I take the knight, but I was not, I was not sure what queen d5. So what, do you, can I see the position as well? Can yeah, you see? So, so the position is on the board right now. Oh, yeah. So so let's say knight c4, you see, uh, knight c4. I don't know if it can be moved. The, uh, we, 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 we can do it, actually. Yeah, knight c4. Oh, right. wow. Nice. Yeah. So knight takes c4 first. Take c4. Yeah, queen, queen takes, g3. Queen takes g3 check, yeah. King f1. Dragon f4. 
Kaj Dragon F4? 93 first, yeah. 93, okay. No, but then there's take on E3 check as well, right? I mean, that's kind of... No, but you, take on E3, you take... Dragon C2 you, is covering. You take, oh, you take. Oh. And then the dragon, the dragon covers. So this was a position. Now, I, again, if I take on H5 again... Uh, oh, my goodness. You know what I missed? I cast a long... You'd cast a long. You'd cast a long, yeah. A check and then King C7 and Knight B7 even. Nothing. I cast a lot. Uh, but I have knight f5. Knight f3 as well. So surely it's even better with knight f3. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Knight with knight f3 instead maybe, of that, yeah. Maybe here queen a8 and some knight f5. Uh, knight f5, king to 6 yeah. But it looks, it looks risky, though. It looks risky. And, yeah, and I, I think I'd, probably I'd have to play queen a7 first to hit b6, right? And then if you block with a knight, then I'm going knight uh, d5. Oh. Maybe I've got some perpetual or something. Oh, oh crazy, crazy stuff, guys. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was... Another possibility could be look, I can access F4 with my king. This can be possible. <laughs> I think this is spin takes. But isn't it so bad to actually give up one of the rooks four? earlier with king check? Oh, something else. Ooh, 95 check. Catch me. Sorry? Yeah. You know what? I saw this G5 is coming. I just I missed you gonna I missed that you play you, this dragon F7. I thought it was a very good move. I thought you're gonna play it immediately, actually. Yeah, but oh. immediately it's not so good. It's not so good, yeah. But then after, after Dragon F7, I knew G5 is coming. And I'm worried about it, but I'm not quite sure what to do about it. Yeah, well. I don't know. I, I just had the feeling that this should be <laughs> should be winning, but... Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, you know, as well, like, I mean, and, on the other hand, like, I know G5 is coming and I know it's strong, but at the same time, I feel like I haven't done anything wrong, like, with my position, right? I mean, I've brought my pieces out. <laughs> I have some pawns, like, sort of... Maybe that's how Henry thinks. Uh, yeah. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, a, maybe, I... maybe I thought maybe instead of King G2, Henry, maybe just play B4 and B5 and chase his knights back. But yeah. I'm happy with B4 because I will take uh, on B4 and play 96. I want this B4 square. Yeah. You know, okay. I, feel, I feel like somewhere I, I played one or two moves too slowly, maybe. No, instead of king g2, if you play b4, you want to play knight a6. No, no, knight I want to e6. take on b4 and play knight e6. Can mm. we see the position? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. We can but, go but, but, back. When you play f5, you don't have to worry about knight e5. Or, okay, so you're saying when? Right? Instead of king g2, David, b4. Instead of king g2. Want to b4? What sure. you said, pawn takes pawn? I will take for sure, yeah. And then okay, I... yeah, let's 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 have a let's pause here. I mean yeah. I'm I'm very happy to play 96, 96, yeah. Okay. Let's just get that. Because now okay, I'm threatening okay. 94. 96, okay, fine. I'm, okay, I'm threatening I'm threatening 94 and I win one of your dragon you know, unless you're gonna give your dragon for two nights again. Yeah. You know. Possibility, yeah. But okay. Guys. I would have thought B5, yeah. That's that's what I would have uh, I was, I was you trying to play? To... You have to worry about what? Sacrifice? 94. Okay, so it's dragon for two knights. But actually, yeah. this is a curious question I've got because when you did it, I wasn't sure. Did you blunder or, or did you think that the dragon is stronger than the two knights? Better than the two knights because it, it didn't seem that way in that position. No, but but in that position, I completely misplayed it. I yeah. mean, I was under the illusion that this, this diagonal is going to give uh, some, some returns immediately. But yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm convinced. Okay, this one is much to D5 and Sorry? It's too strong. Yeah. I like this rook h7 trying to get, just to get like access to that d5 square. I thought if I can get a knight on d5, I should be able to stabilize somehow and at least. Okay, to me, this is winning for what though? I mean, I'm this not one? Sure. Not sure. Knight d5 perhaps oh, coming David, up. Because my, I can play dragon, if my dragon turns up on c5, if you're, you know, dragon yeah. c6, dragon c5. Yeah, maybe G5, this position there's not such obvious uh, what's uh, outposts for the knight compared to the other. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That you played in. Put my put yes. my dragon on e6 on c5. Put my rook on a3. Yeah, you have to think very concrete, concretely. Yeah. yeah. Mm. This is not uh, so, this is not good for white. Interesting dragon stuff. E6, yeah? Interesting stuff, guys. I think we need to move on because the schedule we're already more than half an hour late. But uh, yeah. great, great stuff. Very interesting stuff there by Henry and Watu. You, you made it yeah, so, tough. so entertaining. Yeah, well played, Henry. Uh, well played, you too, both of you. That was very fun games. Very, wow. Like, uh, tough, uh, tough to evaluate. Yeah. It's the problem. Yes. Um, so, very... so I just want to... I'll, I'll have a chat with all, all the players, but we were supposed to have the break from uh, 2... Wait, wait, what's it now? From 1 to 2, but I think we will have a bit of a delay, so we'll start just after 2 to the viewers out there. Um, I'll have to check who plays next. 
but but uh, in any event, it's been uh, quite exciting games. We're going to have a small break now, maybe 40 minutes or so. And uh, we will be back with the last two matches of the day. Uh, Henry scoring a victory here against Watu. So Henry's got one and a half points. We will update the table as well. Um, Craig scored two victories. Henry's got one and a half. And um, Watu's on a half. And Barry still to get off the scoreboard. Um, I'd like to thank... Uh, uh, I am David Gluckman again for joining us today. It was quite nice having you on the show. So thanks, David. Yeah, no, it's a pleasure. And oh, what an exciting uh, brand of chess this is. It's really, it's very interesting. It's so new and yeah, I love it. Great stuff. Thanks so much, David, for joining us. Thanks, uh, Henry, and thanks, Watu. We will see you after the break for the last two matches. So enjoy, when, guys. When will the next match be? Um, so time? it was scheduled for um, for two o'clock, but I'll see it's already twenty to two. We're supposed to have an hour break, so I would propose something like twenty past from my side. But I'll have to talk to the organizer Lorenzo as well. I don't know how you guys feel about it. One of you two should be playing in the next game as well. That's why we have a break. Yeah, I'm trying to check who's playing. I mean, it's, what are you I'm playing against Craig? Hmm? What do you what are you playing against Craig? So I think okay. we all should just get together on on the same accord. Maybe so half past sounds good for me as well. So yeah. I'll, I'll I'll just confirm with with the two of you uh, after we go off off air. Yeah. All right. So yeah, thanks everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, stay uh, stay uh, close to your screens. We will see you probably around half past two for the next uh, two for the last two matches of the day. Um, hi James, by the way, in the chat box. So we'll see you soon for the next match. Uh, thanks everyone. See you. Cheers. Uh -huh.